Welcome back to another episode on the channel. You know, it's a boy is back at it again with another video on the channel. So, before I get into the video as well, I would like to thank everyone for the support so far. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here um, doing all of this, you know. So, before I actually get into the exact video as well, I would like to take a moment of silence for the one late king that was laid to rest yesterday, December the 19th. So, let's take a moment of silence, please. Alright, thanks for that. So, as you might know, he died on an operation and kind of unfortunate because when a soldier loses in life, it's a very um, traumatizing thing, especially for his parents and his friends and all that. But let's get into the video. So, also for all the newcomers, do be reminded that um, I left the, there's a playlist, I left the link in the description so you can go ahead and check that out. Um, the link for the Facebook page is in the description as well. You can go ahead and check that out. So, everything practical is going to be in the description. So, today what I'll be talking about exactly is I still realize that like, most people don't actually know how to get registered or how to join the JDF. So, we got practically go through the four ways that you can actually join the JDF as a person or anybody who looking to um, get into the JDF. JDF to be honest. So the first one, because we're going to go through them step by step. So the first one is that you can um, apply online. So yeah, you can apply online. At one point, the, the online portal did actually crash because there were too many people applying at one time because, you know, everybody want to join the JDF and get them CXC results. Everybody want to fly in, so everybody did apply online. So it kind of, yeah, it's an overrunning system. So we going to practically show you exactly because um, how you actually register online using the JDF online portal. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to um, register online um, on the JDF website. For those who are looking for join the JDF and so, so what you go do is you can pull up a browser, either up on a laptop or either up on a mobile or mobile device or anything. You just pull up a browser and you just type in exactly what I'm going to type in. So I type in join the JDF. So once you type in that now, you just wait for that to load and automatically this should be the first thing that you see pop up which says join the JDF. So basically what you did was click on that and just wait for it to load. Last time I did here the, the online portal thing wasn't working but let's see if it's working. So as it says it's a welcome to JDF recruiting and whatever it says are you fit for the challenge? All that. So, so, do you have what it takes to lead, become a soldier? All that fancy dandy man of people. So, all you just do is just click on apply, bring up a new tab, wait for it to load. So it says here, it says you can join as a regular and you can join um, as an officer. So as it says, just click, click here to join JDF now. We turn it to load. All right. So this would actually be the online farm or the online farm would I say, or the online platform. Last time never did that work because when the applicants bombard the thing and so long the entire website and all the things, if you have the terms and terms and conditions we have to agree to, so it's pretty much self-explanatory. So you let us agree to that. Press, I think next. Press next. Just wait. Wait for it to load, and then you would uh, see the question you want. Do. I don't want the regular. Reserve as an officer enlisted, meaning just normal infantry when you see that. Say that just put in the name, your telephone number, your TRN. If you're under the age of 18 and you don't have a TRN, say 17, this wouldn't be the method that you probably would have used. The other method, you're probably, one, other, one of the methods I mean, I probably would have used is to either call them or actually go up to Park Camp and let them know if they're actually interested. But this here, 
would have to be like people who over the age of 18 have them fearing all them proof of identification if them have qualification yes if you know subject is quite fine you still can apply same and then go take a same way so this is actually how the online portal looks to join the jds so it's very easy to sign up you can do this on your laptop your, your desktop your mobile device android iphone pretty simple once you just type in join the jds it will automatically be the first thing will pop up you can't you cannot miss it you have to just as I said, just look for it. It's right here. It says www. Or you can just type in that www.jdfweb.c.com. Um, sorry, but and we still leave the link in the description as well. So yeah. So yeah, that's how you actually um, register using the online portal. You can use your um, desktop or laptop, your mobile device, anything you want to do. I practically see anything you can use that register for um, the online online process but as many say as well um, persons who like I look to apply at the age of 17 and so on can't really apply online because I don't have a TRN and so forth so what you would actually do is actually you can call them you can actually call them and find out bear in mind you go, you'd have to call them continuously because sometimes you're not going to get them, but you can call them between on the weekdays, Monday to Friday, and make them know. So, all that I think, I'm going to leave the numbers in the description as well. And I'm going to leave the, the link to the JDF website to register also. So, I'm going to leave the numbers where you can call JDF and find out um, in the description. And also, for those who are probably in the processing already, um, you just advise me. You see, if let me tell us like, if you just wait for a call, just wait for a call. It's if you reach like a month, and you know here, no, then you can call them. But if them if them then give a time frame, don't worry yourself. Let me say you just wait for a call, wait for a call, go get the call. But if you reach like a month or so, you can call them and check up. For all the persons who are in the processing and probably one month pass, two months pass, you know, here, no, you can you can call them, check up and walk on to your thing and them thing. Eh? Or if them tell us, eh, you're not calling in a two weeks time and two weeks time pass, you can call them and check up. Them there are ways where you could actually um, say, yeah, you can call them and them thing. But if, if, if one week just pass them, tell them you're going to get a call and one week pass, you don't get no call. There's no need for you to fret and worry about this and you're not get no call it and other people. But I say, I will leave people applying now. And you alone applying now. I will leave people and you must go through everybody. So you just have to be patient and just wait. You hear me? You have to just wait. And then the next method, you can actually go out there to apply. If you, are, if you actually live close to... Um, up park camp or so you can actually go there to apply but the thing is when you go there apply you have to dress formal you can't really put on whatever you, whatever you want to put on and go there you get me because you have to look like somebody if you go there you apply and then you know you have people who they go there to do tests and all well i don't really advise them to go there and test it especially if you're not already in the system and thing because as me said with me it took me like four years before me get through so and the license is just saying I'm yard and nothing they do other things meanwhile, but that didn't really manage me. But when me go up on a test date, yes. Me go up on a test date. But the thing is me did already in the system already for all long. So when them take my name and thing and run it through for them system, then realize I'm in there already. So most of them if you know some apply for it and go up on a test date, probably somehow you know make it through or they know call them back at them thing. You know that you know you know that guy already. So and then yeah. So yeah, you can go out there and apply and all. So the fourth and last one, to be honest, is something we call professional entry. So I like other day me, me really find out about this in a group because somebody had got through with a method there. So it's like professional entry that be like for, for persons, like if you're a musician, um, chef, um, you know, say doctor, um, counselor, any time, uh, any time, uh, sorry, any type of big professional like, profession like that. You understand? So for them, they wouldn't really train like got to know all the basic training, like the whole entire like three, four months of basic training because they don't know how them things go sick. They're going to be chef, they're going to be doctor. So the chance that you're going to go road, you're going to be on roadside with gun is highly unlikely. So you know that actually goes. So you know some people might will be actually interested in going through this method if they know so they have a profession like that. Because you have, you have persons in Nigeria for just come in as doctor and them things. You get me? So, them not really do not much. So, them just come in as doctor, because big doctor them, them have them um, 
medical place and everything there. So they must come in as a doctor. And you can do that. So that's right. That's like professional entry. Anybody can actually do it once you have a type of profession where them actually will see it useful for you get you and under them type of means. Eh? Even though, cause if you have if you have the skills already, then you don't really have to waste no money or nothing to actually train you for get them type of skills there because you already have it as one. If you understand what I say. So in a really matter exactly my profession you actually have but once them actually can when, when them actually say yeah this will be actually useful and them can say alright cool I understand. So for those who know them have like them a musician, chef, them a doctor and them thing, they probably lawyer, like counselor, have them big type of professional skills, eh, accountant and all them thing there. Eh. Them can actually try out this portion because I'm gonna leave the link to where you can actually send your resume and application. Sorry, resume and cover letter to leave it in the description as well. Link will be in the description. So when them actually get it, they may actually call you and talk to you and schedule an interview and you go do it and they will make you know what is the next step. So just to recap as well, so you have four ways of joining the JDF. You can use the online JDF online portal. You can call them and register for those, yeah. And you can actually go up there and register. And you have professional entry. So there, those are the four ways that I know of how to join the JDF. So I hope this video was useful to all of you guys, especially persons who are looking to join the JDF. Because you know, you always have a bag of people looking to join the JDF every day. So don't forget to like. Share, subscribe, and share the video to someone that you might think it will be helpful to. You know, it's about Ace, unknown Ace, out!